We couldn't resist sharing a very sweet success story. It's sort of a bit of a cupcake commotion and the woman behind it, the young woman behind it is Carla Bruno who actually studied what at university, Carla? Communication. Oh, um, yeah. But really, you returned to your lifelong passion. How old were you when you started baking? Probably two, three, <laughs> very young. So you've been causing a bit of an upset and creating cupcake addicts in area malls. We're in Saint Laurent right now, mm -hmm. but you're also at the Orleans location as well. So what happened? You uh, you decided that you could put your business and your baking on wheels. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, I always loved cooking. I loved baking, and I love the feeling of um, making someone happy through my cooking and my <laughs> baking. And even while I was telling you, um, when I was at university, I would bring you know my my baked goods to my professors and to my friends, and it just kind of became something that I saw that a lot of people love it, and a lot of people. Who who doesn't love cupcakes, right? And cakes and cake pops. Yeah. Apparently about 300 people <laughs> on a Saturday. So the cupcakes yeah. sell for 375 yeah. each. Mm -hmm. If you yeah. buy more, they're less. A little bit less, yeah. But people come by just for that one fix often, it's don't true. they? Yeah, and we have so many awesome different flavors. And what people love too is we always have different flavors. We don't always have the same ones. We do have our more popular ones that we, we have more often. But so people love just coming and trying the next flavor. And the thing is, she looks so sweet. But <laughs> people, people are starting to wear expandable waistlines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. They must. <laughs> Well, what is it that makes your cupcake special or different? Because it seems to be a, a massive trend right now. What is the magic? First, I'll ask, the magic of a cupcake. Tell us about it. You know what? It's just that awesome feeling that it's a beautiful little cake that you can have by yourself. You don't have to share it with anyone. It's all yours. I mean, you could share if you wanted to. <laughs> but um, And yeah, I guess it's just the idea that it's just a cute little cake wrapped up in a little Cup. So it's a solitary pleasure. Yes. A guilty, wonderful pleasure. Very guilty. But your yes. flavors uh, are a little unique. Tell mm -hmm. us about the flavors. Um, well, right now we have, for example, the Napolitana, which is a mixture. The cupcake itself is a vanilla, a strawberry, and a chocolate. And the icing as well is uh, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. So you get all those three flavors for those who love all three flavors. They don't have to pick. Um, also, for example, with our vanilla cupcake, we use a Madagascar bean for our vanilla. So we do use gourmet ingredients, as well as for our caramel cupcakes, we use a caramel called dulce de leche. I don't know if uh, you've heard of it, but it's an Argentinian caramel. And I like using this because I am from Argentina, so that's my background, and I kind of incorporate it into my baking. See, the thing is, all you have to do is listen to her talking <laughs> about the cupcakes, and yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and you feel like you've sort of enjoyed them. But you studied communications. You went to university for that, mm -hmm. but as you said, now, there wasn't any cupcake bribery involved when you were no, delivering them to No, no, no. I tried. It didn't uh -huh. really work. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. But this sort of was the reason we wanted to highlight this is it's very entrepreneurial in that you're taking what you love to do mm -hmm. and you've turned it into a business. It's true. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I did. I saw that, you know, I, I always feel that you have to do something that you love and if you do what you love, then you will be successful. So that's kind of what I did with my baking. I love doing it and um, I, I like to share it with everyone else. So yeah, that's what kind of where I went with that. What sorts of reactions do you get from clients? Because I've met a couple of people in the mall who are a little annoyed at how good they are. I have okay, to tell yes, you the truth. I'll I've introduce heard. you to someone in a moment. Yes, yes. Yes, I've but heard. you can't help but love, love you. Oh, thank you. You're such a sweetheart. So, thank but you. But reactions that you get, and all, clearly you have regulars. Uh, yes. I mean, I, for example, I have a lady who comes every single day to get her vanilla cupcake in the morning. The one she works in the mall. So every time she's working, she comes in the morning, gets her vanilla. She loves she it. She wanted to be shot in silhouette, so we couldn't actually put it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So. Um, also, I have a red velvet. I don't have any today, but I have a red velvet cheesecake cupcake. So it's marbled with cheesecake with cream cheese icing, and I've actually had people come and try this cupcake and tell me that it's better than the one that they had in New York. So that made me feel good as well. That's fantastic. Yeah. When we come back, we're going to share more of uh, Carla Bruno's secrets. I don't know if she's going to give away any of these no. secrets. But clearly, her enthusiasm <laughs> is a secret to her success. We'll be back. <laughs> Well, clearly, these are discerning shoppers. They've just convinced mom to trade in the Cheerio snacks and the goldfish for one of uh, Carla Bruno's cupcakes. And they're at eye level, which uh, you may have studied communications, but that's good marketing for kids <laughs> and strollers. Thanks. Yes, I know. I, it's not supposed to be a tactic, but I guess it does work. Yeah. Well, 
Apparently other people think that you may be a bit of a dangerous addition to the mall. Oh How dangerous God. is it it's when It's bad. <laughs> it's very bad. I was going to call the mall to remove them. But it's so good, so good. So it's chocolate. I suggest to try this chocolate. Chocolate's your wow. favorite? Wow, 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 wow. Well, this is an occupational hazard for you. Yes. So you work okay. directly across from exactly. the cup. Exactly. Not the fair. the smell and the look. Oh, my God. Okay. Every day, every day, every day. You're another awesome. regular? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mona. Well, it's Thank a good thing you're on your feet all day. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Now, Carla, your mom is a huge part of this yes. story mm -hmm. because she's the one who introduced you to baking, but really she introduced you to chemistry. Yes. Well, actually, so my parents are from Argentina, and she took a uh, chemical engineering in Argentina and she's always loved cooking and baking especially baking because she says it's kind of like it's her laboratory at home where she can measure and see the chemical reactions between you know uh, baking soda and the vinegar and things like that and so growing up I always did experiments with her but it was baking and I guess that's what kind of introduced me in the fun and the love of baking and then kind of took it from there. Well. There's also an element of instant gratification for you, I'm mm -hmm. sure, in that you get to see someone buy one and bite into it. So you're making yeah. friends with total strangers. Oh, yes, all <laughs> the time. And you know what? I love it because I love seeing their reaction, like you just said, and seeing the joy that a cupcake can bring to someone. That's the best part, right? So. Okay, now we'll talk vision. Where do you want this to go? Oh, you know what? I, I always, I'm a big thinker, and uh, right now I have two locations in Ottawa. I would like to be in Montreal, Toronto, maybe even Vancouver. California. But this is pretty competitive. Yeah, no, it is. It is. But you know what? What's a business without competition? I don't mind. And it's fun. And it's okay. Yeah. Now, what about you? Everyone's looking at how petite and okay. too, uh, how many cupcakes are in your weekly diet? Oh, my. At least once a week. Um, what I... That's restraint. Yeah, no, I know. And But I'm, I'm obsessed with my chocolate as well, too. I love my chocolate one. Well, clearly, so does Mona yeah, the gal who works, yeah. works at the shoe store. And that establishes where you are in the yeah. mall. If food allergies are making you feel left out of this uh, guilty little pleasure, You've thought of that too. Yes, it's true. <laughs> I mean, I know there's a lot of gluten allergies and egg and sugar for diabetics, so I do cater for all of them. Uh, I make sugarless cupcakes, I make gluten free, I make eggless, I make lactose free cupcakes as well. So that way everyone can try a little bit of the delicious treat. And I know, for example, you can't have the cupcake, but you can definitely have the icing. Twist my arm. And the icing is delicious. Twist my arm. What, what type of icing is this? Uh, you're oh. trying the vanilla portion of that cupcake. Mm -hmm. And? Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Okay, falls into the worth it category, which oh, is good. how we rate desserts. Good, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it's worth it or if it's not worth it, but these are worth it. Perfect. There's one that I'm really curious about. It has fudge on top. Yes, this it's one's actually, here. so it's a triple chocolate cupcake. So it's chocolate cupcake, chocolate buttercream, chocolate drizzle, and then we have a nice big peanut butter fudge on top. Okay, whose idea was the peanut butter fudge? It's mine. Okay. Everyone loves peanut butter, so. Okay, Jeff, go ahead. It's your, it's your <laughs> pleasure. He's lifting that heavy, heavy camera. Oh my goodness! Go Enjoy. Ahead. Yeah. Well, well, it's been fun to meet Thank you. Thank you. It's and, been and awesome. Uh, part of the reason I certainly wanted to share this story is when a few people say there's a gal you have to meet and there's a food you have to avoid. I pay attention. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. No, I had a lot of fun. Good luck and continued success. Okay, Jeff, you can go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs>